Boom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. That's rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect. Alright, this here is Amma 1 from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad. And um, the name of this lesson is The world is moving to the dollarize, not the nuclearize. So that means war is on. Okay? If your eyes on the news, I think sometime in March or April, the US is set to leave the INF. INF is the International Nuclear Something Else. A deal that they made in 1987 or 89 where they are not to make any nuclear missiles okay they are to leave that so that could potentially it will bring back on the nuclear arms race who are the most nukes it will do that now they look into the dollar rise as you see in this article that is on this this video which I'm about to play here on the screen which was published on September the 26th 2018 which was about four months ago four to five months ago all right they're looking to do away with the dollar they're not looking to do away with the nuclear missiles so I will play this video here. So what I mean? So what I mean? That don't mean war, right there. We start today with an update from the 73rd United Nations General Assembly. Speaking at a press conference earlier today, President Donald Trump said he plans to meet with North Korean leader Kim Jong Un very soon. I'll be meeting with. Mm, I'm fast forward. For his reaction to statements made by UK Prime Minister Theresa May while speaking at the UN just a few hours ago. Ensuring non-proliferation also requires collective leadership of the type that led to the agreement in 2015 of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, the Iran nuclear deal. For many years, the scale and nature of Iran's nuclear program raised serious international concerns. The JCPOA was an important step forward in addressing these. It remains the best means of preventing Iran developing a nuclear weapon, and we are committed to preserving the JCPOA. Uh, the British Prime Minister is echoing what all the European leaders are saying, indeed almost all the leaders in the world, that they cannot accept the swaggering cowboy uh, unilateralism uh, of uh, Donald Trump. Uh, he wants to be a bull in a china shop, but we all live in that china shop, and we're not prepared to see it trashed and destroyed uh, on his whim. The only caveat I'd enter, Anya, is the belligerence that he is displaying in New York this week against Iran is almost word for word the same kind of belligerence that he displayed last year at the same time against North Korea. And now it's all Chairman Kim this and Chairman Kim that. The rocket man uh, became a kind of teddy bear. Who knows, uh, maybe Rouhani and other Iranian leaders will have the same image in Donald Trump's eyes next year. That's a very interesting point to raise, Georgia. Peter, what is your reaction to news that the European Union now plans to set up this new payment system allowing EU countries to continue to trade with Iran? Well, that doesn't surprise me. I think the world is in the process of trying to de-dollarize and trying to get themselves in a... No, this is Peter Schiff, CEO of Euro-Pacific Capital. You hear what you say? That was four months ago. And it's a fact because what's going on, the American dollar losing any value. And they're going to do something else. And that is where they're going to come up with this microchip, which is the mark of the beast to try and insert it in every one of you. By the grace and power of Yahweh Basham was shy. Alright? I pray and I hope. Like hell, the most I put the spirit on me to... I can't say I won't take it. 
In my head, I wouldn't take it, but you know, you never know. The that scripture said that you are temptation. So I pray like hell, the Lord don't make me take that ship, and none of my brothers in the truth take that ship. But you two thirds and you peons go and take in that ship. The scripture says the serpent go deceive all you into taking it. But you hear what you just said? Let me pull it back. surprise me. I think the world is in the process of trying to de-dollarize and trying to get themselves in a situation where the U.S. is not in a position to weaponize the U.S. dollar. And I think, you know, all of this is going to backfire on the United States. You know, my biggest problem with what uh, the president said yesterday was his exaggerating his accomplishments and the strength of the U.S. economy. You know, to quote uh, President Trump while he was still a candidate, uh, the U.S. economy is a big fat ugly bubble what's really growing is the size and the cost of the federal government it's spending more than ever it's borrowing more than ever uh, so are u.s individuals and corporations i think the economy is headed to a massive recession in fact uh, autos and homes are already rolling over all the stocks in those sectors are deep in bear market territory so i think it's only a matter of time before the overall economy rolls over as Trump likes to have things big, I think we could experience the biggest recession ever. Now, that's maybe not uh, what Trump wanted, but unfortunately, that's what he's going to get. All right, so you're not... So you see that? We'll move into the dollar rise, right? Okay. Okay. Watch this video. That was four months ago. This video is about two months ago. This video is an hour old. Missile agreement on Saturday. RT the US tested a new intercontinental ballistic missile Tuesday. It was launched from an Air Force base in Southern California and sailed over the Pacific Ocean, landing eventually at Natal, almost 7,000 kilometers away. Then, just hours later, the Russian military tested its own ICBM 2. It was published on February the 7th, 2019. Uh, a while ago. Actually, although the launches have been described now, if you could read on the bottom right there, we're seeing live RT the news bar. Whether that's gear news, right? It says US says it will begin developing new missiles after INF withdrawal, and the US are set to withdraw from the INF sometime in either March. Or in April, if I'm mistaken. I could always look it up. But they say they go and withdraw the pulling out. That deal was to make sure this nation make nukes and America make nukes. The two powerhouses. USA America Ru USA Russia was cheating. Alright. Why did it say US make these in America? I know I mean to say Russia. U.S. said Russia was cheating and therefore they are going and pull out until Russia stop cheating. And Russia say bring forth the evidence when we are cheating. Wait, but the point of the matter, the fact of the matter remains that war is on the horizon. Them looking to de-dollarize, not denuclearize. They're not saying well, we're going to stop making nuclear missiles. You see what America say? They're going and begin developing new missiles. After INF withdrawal. So you people look out for war. And the, the, the reason why they're going to do away with the dollar is because they're going to bring about this currency called the digital currency. Think about think about the world which we don't plan to be here in the next let we say fifteen years. The hell with fifteen years here. You want to get out of this place right now. But use the imagination. If you have, if you have, um, if you have any vision and think about the world in the next 20 years, are you seeing paper dollars rolling around or are you seeing a digital currency? Yeah. Um, just now. Okay. 
Captain Flash could carry. But you should keep chasing where there is no vision, you keep a perish. Um, that is in Proverbs, I can't remember exactly in Proverbs. But I will get it just now. Think, yeah, so you have to look at the, put the picture in your head. In the next 20 years, or sooner, before that. But just going that far because that is when they will believe to be getting everything that the want in the society happening next 10 years okay this devil looking to bring out a chip no okay but when he are talking to the point where you get everybody into it right you looking to bring out this chip no next two next two next one hey it could be hey this year this year is the uh, karagma okay this devil looking to rule now. He looking to rule later down the line. He had to prepare mind for now. Okay? But I just say 20 years just to sh for you to see the picture. This whole, the whole world will be in a, in a kind of technology. This is why I see in a kind of technology. Everything is technology. Robots coming up to you talking. You conversing with a robot. A robot just like iRobot. That's how this devil want to bring it. And it ain't that far. He started now and he's going to bring all that chip now. And with that chip is what going to be what the mark of the beast. See? And what they're looking to do is not to the nuclear rise, but the dollar rise. Nuclear missiles will be still going to be tested like that still. You still going to be testing nuclear bombs. And that means war. So you people outside here, you thinking peace on your, on your, on your, um, on the agenda by these world leaders. No. These world leaders not thinking about, them not sit down, they are not sitting down around the world thinking about how peace could be uh, uh, reached. War must be continually going. Um, look at watching. I watching Lord of War last night. And while he's watching Lord of War, I watching Nicolas Cage, and Nicolas Cage selling guns. You are selling guns to, to um, world leaders during the eighties, during the early nineties. And when the war ended in 1991, the Cold War, um, he went to Ukraine and he gathered all the guns. And what he started to do was to push guns in Africa. And then it had a scene where the plane, the plane had was to do a, a, a emergency landing on a highway in Africa. And this was the movie showing you. And um, what he did, because he had one set of guns on him, and he had no papers, all the residents in Africa, local residents, he said, come, 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 take guns, take guns, take guns, take guns. Give them guns. He gave everybody a gun. I mean. That's how this devil less function. And where do you feel them go and do with a gun? Where you get them? They go and look for peace. Go and look for war. Okay? Is war he on here on his mind right true? He don't sit down and think about peace. He don't ever sit down and think about making the world a peaceful place. That is not his mind. He, his agenda is to bring war constantly. Um some rock style Rockefeller say best time to buy is when blood is running in the streets. Okay? That is what they come up with. This is the kill. Chapter 7 verse 21 and it says verse 25 it says destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and there shall be none. You people go and seek peace. The white man is not about peace. He's not about 
having a peaceful time in our kingdom. No. No. If that was the case, he would have maintained the INF deal. But he looking to pull out. And hey, I don't give a fuck. Let him pull out. Yo, we fell up at this place. He's so over. We I boy. Fell up here, boy. Fell up here, boy. Revelation the sixth chapter and the fourth verse says and there went out another horse that was red and power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth and that is the so called white man. The horse horse represents power and the red represents Esau like the red dragon. Okay. Esau because that is that is um the only time somebody was described in the Bible, skin color was the so-called white man. Okay? Like the first time, Salakia, somebody was described in the Bible was the so-called white man. And it say, because Job say my skin is black upon me. And it said the so-called white man, red. See, the first came out red all over like a hairy garment and they called his name Esau. So, that red horse symbolizes him. It says, and power was given him because the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. God ready faces as judges thereof, if not where and who is he? That sat there to take peace from the earth. And that, is what, and that is what he does do. He does sit on and talk about peace. Because his rulership was not to bring about peace. The scriptures say there is no peace to the wicked. The wicked don't deal with peace. David say, I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. They don't deal with peace. They are the wicked of the earth. They deal with war. His rulership would have been a fucking bloody rulership to take peace from the earth. To have no peace on this earth. And, it, and that they shall kill one another. And he puts guns in your hands. He put guns in. Same thing what Lord Awar was doing. Lord Awar Lord was putting guns in this one hand. He putting guns in the enemy hand. And he putting guns in the... He putting guns in both enemies hand. To what? Kill one another. And he, business is only to deal with guns. He die all he's studying. See? And there was given unto him a great sword. So he have a great sword. And that sword ultimately is them nukes. But sword goes deeper than nukes. Hey. Sword. Hey. When Jake Isaac bless he saw with his sword. You say, by thy sword shall thou live. Thy sword is devil, get here. And sword is an instrument of bringing about death. So eugenics, um, chemtrails, filthy food, Monsanto, um, uh, uh, what do you have again? Your guns, your drugs. All of that is part of your sword. And this is how this devil has operate. The world is looking to de dollarize, not denuclearize. The nuclear arms race will be back on. And when you arming up yourself, and I arming up myself, is to do what with the arms. You loading a gun is to do what with the gun. It's to shoot the gun. You lo you're arming up yourself is to fire out your arms. That is what you just arm up yourself for. You're arming up your, 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 your arm. Quiver with arrows for the bow. Is to shoot the friggin' arrow against a target. And that is, that is what going on take place. And the, the war going on start just now. And you people on the Trinidad, the Trinidad border going on feel sick. You people all over the world going on feel sick. The most I show you. And the most I say. This is what is the plan. And that is the plan. And you can't go against it. You can't say. Lord why why not the plan? I, I don't like that plan. Most I say that he plan and you had to deal with fucking that. And I the hey, I like that plan. Because at the end of that plan is rest for me, rest for my people. See? See in this thing you had to study your people, you had to study not just yourself. Your only scripture say work out your own salvation. But you had to study you have, you have people depending on you. Like if you have a son, you know where your son growing up in this place? You have a you have a daughter, you have what? Well, you have a, 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 a wife, a father, a mother. 
You know what them? You know what them here, but you want to see them a better life. This is about bringing a better life to your, 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 your people. Just remember that. Okay? If you, if you say you so called love your son or your, or, your, or, your, or, your, or your father or your mother or your wife, you study you. You study yourself. Think about them too. Think about helping them come out of this wicked place too. Because this place is wicked on all fronts. You, your, your son could easily jump out and say, Daddy, I don't like girls. Your daughter could jump out and say, Daddy, I don't like boys. Your wife could easily go outside here and commit adultery and come back in, in, in your house. Your, your father and them could be... Your father, your mother could be under pressure, under strain. You want to see that? You don't want to see that. You, want, you know? So the best thing I could do is to stay in the truth and help them. Help yourself too because you don't like to be here. Okay? But you had, to, you had to think about, you know, if you had them too, don't just think about yourself. See, if you're constantly thinking about yourself, you're selfish. All the scriptures say, work out your own salvation. But if you're constantly just thinking about yourself, hey, you are a kiam. First and foremost, them is who you had to think about. Them want to fight. Them fighting to come out just like you. They don't want to be here. You're fighting alongside with them. Fight for them. Think about them. They have families. They have children. They have children. Think about all that. Okay? I, I just think about all that. Brothers and them are children, but you have to fight for them. They have children. To have a better life for their children. My children. See? And hey, you will remain. You will remain. You keep fighting. But... This place had to go down. It had to go down. And this world looking to the new, the, the dollar rise. To away with the dollar. They never say nothing about doing away with the nukes. And the nukes going and be made back. They go and start back to build nuclear vessels. So it go and have war. They go and have a RFID microchip. With that I will give all praises to you. Hopefully you've been edified. Shalom.